that it's cracking future PJ Tour professionals. Haven't done an in the, in the bag video for a while and all you new subscribers probably don't know what's in my bag. So I'm gonna do an in, in the bag video for you guys. Let's get stuck in. So here is my bag. Uh, sorry for the terrible lighting. It is a King Cobra golf bag. I bought this about two years ago. And yeah, it's still a great bag, but I might get a new one. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about getting a new one fairly soon, but I don't I, I don't actually know when. Yeah, lots of stuff. So I got I put all my food in, in this bag. Um, this thing right here, sometimes I'll put like some trash or some wrappers in there. Water bottles go in there. Uh, that's where I keep all my divot tools, ball markers, and stuff like that. Um, I have a I had a foot joy ball marker, but I don't know where it went. It was awesome. Um, this is my ball sack right here. That's where I got all my balls. Uh, last round I played, I was using these. The rocket balls. Yeah, and um, yeah, normally I'll play the rocket balls urethane, but I might I might get to stick to those ones uh, for now. Got my brush to clean my clubs as well as the, this towel hasn't been cleaned in years. I'm gonna go clean it like right now. This big pocket. Usually, I'll put wa extra waters in here. Um, shoes. I got a thing for my phone. Uh, put a phone in there, and I got other things up in there. Put just things to keep things protected. Usually, I put my keys in that little pocket right there. And yeah, there's another pocket there and stuff like that. So yeah, fairly large uh, space to put golf shoes or any other. Uh, um, I guess expensive goodies that you don't want to get stolen, uh, it all goes in there. And this is where I put my teas. That's my tea bag right there, all my teas. Oh yeah. Okay, so moving on to the clubs. I'll start off with my wedges. I got a 56 and a 52 degree from uh, their Cleveland CG15s. I remember when these were like the best wedges you could buy. But now they're really, really old. Have them for quite a long time. Um, uh, depending on what kind of job I get this winter, I'm really planning to switch these out for something a bit newer. So yeah, so for now I got the Cleveland CG15. Um, yeah, 52 and 56 degrees and both with 10 degrees of bounce. My irons all the way through pitching wedge all the way up through my 3-iron hybrid are the Adams A7, Idea A7. And these are awesome. I got them mainly because they look amazing at, at a dress. So as you can see, it's cavity backed. But if you put it on the ground, it looks like a blade. It looks it looks like a like a muscle back, and that's it, see it looks amazing. I love the look of these at a dress, and that's one of the reasons why I got them. And they feel absolutely awesome when you hit them in the center of the club face. So yeah, I love these irons. Love them very much. They're gonna stay in my bag for a very long time. And the iron set came with a four iron and a three iron hybrid. So pretty much use these if I'm in the rough or if. I'm like 180 yards from the pin, I'll use, I'll use one of those. I'll show you my wood. This is a really old uh, King Cobra S91 driver, I mean a uh, fairway wood, that I got at Golf Town for about 75 bucks. It was, it, was one of the, it was one of the demo clubs there, and it was practically brand new, it had hardly any scratches on it, so I got an insane deal, and I love this club, it looks, I love the look of it at a dress. It's got the little gills in the um, on, on the top of on the top there, and then nice King Cobra logo. I like this. Once if I hit this nice, it it's a, it's a great club. That's why I like it, and it, it's a nice ball flight, and it goes pretty far too. I can hit this easily around 190, 200, 210 yards if I'm lucky. So yeah, great club. This is gonna stay in the bag for quite a while. All right, let's move on to the big stick. This is the Nike SQ Dymo. Uh, ten and a half degrees of loft, and it's very old, as you can see. Not too good. Um, I had it for about three, two and a half, three years, so it's a very old driver. Uh, it's actually my dad's, but he hardly ever uses it. So um, I'm planning to get a new one myself, hopefully this winter. Uh, it's on the Boxing Day sales at Golf Town, so hopefully that goes to plan. Uh, it's what I got right now, so I'm just going to stick with it and use it, even though... I don't like it very much. I can't really tell if I hit in the sweet spot. Even if I do, I can't really tell because, I don't know, the, the, the feel of this driver isn't the greatest. But yeah, right now, this is what I have, and I gotta stick with it. Finally, my putter, which is the TaylorMade Rosa Corza Ghost. And if you don't know what this is, this is the, uh, those, those white putters 
that uh, TaylorMade has been doing. Yeah, look at that, it's white. Um, got this really because I just liked putting with it. It feels really nice. Um, I love the I love the look of it too, and it makes the line well fairly easy. Uh, I don't think it makes it as easy as it, as they say it does, but it does make the lining um, a lot less of a chore. And yeah, I like it. Uh, the feel the feels all right. The feel could be better, but um, yet again, it's a two hundred dollar putter, and I'm not looking to switch this out. And yeah, whenever I hold a putt with this, it feels awesome. So yeah, that's my putter, the Rosa Corsa Ghost. And yeah, it looks awesome because it's white. It's amazing. All right, guys, that's what's in my bag. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And now, for all you new subscribers, now you know what I'm playing with. So, hope you enjoyed that. Give it the video a like, comment, thumbs up, and yeah, make sure you f you favorite and share it with your friends. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week. See you later.